told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Okay, guys, so yesterday we had our Lima Pride March, which we did, and I'll talk a little bit about that. And then immediately following that, we did, uh, we all went down, well, several of us went down to the Salina Pride March. So I want to talk about some things that happened there. So let's start out with our Lima Pride March. Given the fact that we had such short period of time to plan it. I was amazed at the turnout that we had. It uh, went really well. We had a couple of protesters. Well, I guess there was more than a couple that showed up. I'll pop in the photos. You can see what they look like. But we had a really good turnout. A lot of um, great speeches. Um, uh, we had a candidate that's currently running for the Ohio House, which is Dylan Gross, that spoke. And then at the end, we also had, who was just there to support us, wasn't even planning on speaking, um, a candidate running against Jim Jordan uh, in the uh, House of Representatives, who also spoke. And then, of course, myself representing uh, Northwestern Ohio Trans Advocacy, uh, River Herod, and uh, Garrison Bowling representing the Ohio, Ohio Student Activist Alliance. So overall, really good. I'm just going to pop in... A few more photos here that you can see, and then I will go to the insanity that was what happened down in Salina. Uh, as a side note, when I'm talking about insanity, I'm talking about protesters. The organizers of the event did a fantastic job, and overall, we still managed to have a wonderful Pride celebration. So very quickly, I'm going to provide a video that the uh, local news station did of our um, Pride event in Lima. It's kind of choppy, I, I, not to criticize the editing, but they cut a lot out. But here are just a few things for you to see from that video. Incredible celebration. We had a huge crowd for the first Pride March in four years in Lima. We had amazing people, we had amazing speakers, we had politicians who came to support us. It was incredible. From start to finish, I'm so proud of this community. We want people to know that the LGBT community has been here for a long time and we're going to continue to be here, that this community will be present, we will be loud, we will be proud, and we can do so safely, and that you know, we shouldn't have to worry about people counter-protesting. We can come here and celebrate and we can do so proudly. So that was just a little snippet of our event in Lima. Uh, went really, really well. We were really pleased. Um, after that ended, several of us decided we were going to go on down to the Salina Pride event because our siblings there in Salina have been going through a lot themselves. Um, there's been this major push by religious groups in the community um, against a drag show, and it's just been crazy, and they've went through a lot. Um, so we wanted to go down and show support. So shortly after arriving, um, 
I had to return our megaphone, which we had borrowed from one of the organizers for Small Town Pride. Thank you very much, by the way. Uh, and then um, I got an opportunity there to speak to the crowd for a few moments, which I really appreciated. Speaking about the need of being the need of being active against the myriad of transphobic legislation that's going through our state house right now. So just as I was finishing up, it was time for the drag show to start, and that's when we noticed, uh, which we already had you know, good foreknowledge that was likely to happen. So the first thing we noticed were the marching Christian protesters in red shirts kind of coming around. I know they were disappointed because it wasn't nearly the crowd they had hoped for. These were the Protestants. And then from the other direction there, you could see the Aryan... But it's the Aryan Nation. It was an Aryan Nations group, a neo-Nazi group, which I'll have photos of that as well, uh, that came in. And then I did not get any good photos, but the Catholics marched around the long way doing their thing in the process. So it was a trifecta of Catholics and Protestants and neo-Nazis. Uh, but one thing quickly brought got caught my attention among the group, and I'm going to kind of show you a video right now that, uh, well, shows what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so we're going live here because that way you can all see right there in the white shorts, that's your elected representative showing up to protest pride, standing beside, we've got the Protestants here, and right over here, you get to see the neo-Nazis. Isn't it interesting when our elected official ends up being on the same side of an issue with the neo-Nazis? It's a wonderful group of people out here today. And don't forget, screw the fucking Nazis and screw every bigot, whether they hold to the name of a religion or not. But there's your elected leader right over there. So let that go in. So yeah, just as that video said, just as I said in that video, that was the Ohio State Representative for the 84th Congressional District, which is my district, which covers Salina, um, parts of Dark County, uh, part you know, all glaze, all of that, um, in her red shirt with the Christian protesters just mere feet, whatever, a very short distance from the neo-Nazis. So, um, kind of speaking, you know, I, was, I went around after I got that video and I went to some several of the booths because I wanted to make sure they were all aware that among the people protesting us was someone who has been elected to represent all of us. And yet she's made it clear time and time again that she has no intention of representing all of us. I confronted her at a town hall meeting. It may be a couple of months ago now. I can't remember if it was a month ago or two months ago. Probably two. Um, where I talked about her co-sponsoring of a transphobic gender-affirming care ban, which has now passed the Ohio House. It's HB 68. And so I confronted her on that. She threw out a bunch of debunked studies which I called her out on, and then when a nurse in the group also called her out on that with facts to back up, she quickly shut down the conversation. This is a politician that works very closely with the Center for Christian Virtue, a Christian theocratic organization in the state of Ohio. So you can kind of see the video there. I'll share a few more, um, maybe a little bit more video clips, kind of showing the, the Nazi protesters, one of which my husband took, um, and um, then we'll kind of go from there. <sighs> this is what it's like when you get out-of-state people, usually from Indiana. You got Althea Church standing to an Aryan neo-Nazi organization. Ain't this wonderful? That's right, Jesse, you have fun. 
And this is the group we have here today, which is an amazing, wonderful group of individuals and loving and caring people. Dumbass neo Nazis over here. And then if you turn that way, you'll see in the red shirts, isn't that appropriate? The red shirts, that's our Protestants. And right over on the other side of the lake, that should be our Catholics there. All because some drag queens showed up and performed an awesome show. And these two-inch cowards have to come out and think that they're doing something. Here's what they're doing. They're inspiring every member of this community to fight year after year because pride is not a day, pride is not a month, pride is a motherfucking way of life. So that was all of the videos, several of the photos um, that we took from yesterday. Despite the people that tried to destroy it, pride went very well. And I hope the people that encountered the protesters, the religious protesters, the Nazis, the ones at our event, rather than letting that be something that scares us off, I hope that that's an inspiration for us to fight. You know, part of what I said in my speech yesterday at Lima was that it's time for a new Stonewall movement. We've got to be prepared to fight back, to never give up, and to hold these people accountable. We're not going to be scared off by elected bigots in suits, ties, and American flag lapel pins. And we're not going to be scared off by swastika-loving idiots. We're here to keep fighting. We're going to fight for our community. We are not going to give up. And that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, one of the ringleaders of this anti, you know, anti-drag, anti-pride protest that was happening in Salina was the Althea Christian Church in the area. And a lot of it was run uh, through church organizations. So you can see the theocratic Christian nationalist seam that runs through all of this. So ultimately, at the end of the day, that is what we have to combat because we have no problem with people having a religious view. But you don't get to give that religious view the force of law. If you don't like a pride show, don't show up for one. If you don't agree with gender-affirming care, don't get gender-affirming care. But do not think that you get to have veto power over the civil rights of everyone else. We will continue to fight for Northwest Ohio Trans Advocacy. Let me just say that the best is yet to come. We have more plans for the future. I encourage everyone to visit our website. You can join our group, which will be going private here in a few days so people can have the safety of conversation. But we also have a public-facing page where you can interact, where we are um, making it a point to keep people educated on what's happening in our state and, most importantly, what you can do about it. Because we're not helpless. We have the ability to fight back, and we're going to. And at the end of the day, we are going to win this battle. It may take a long time to get there, but we are never going to give us up. They want to push us back into the closet, but closets are for coats, not for queers, and we ain't going there. So we are going to keep fighting back until we win. Lots of love to all of you. I hope you'll continue to support us on, on the channel here, as well as going over to the NOTA website. I will have a graphic at the end that will have information on how you can connect up with us, uh, keep us informed on what's going on in your community, and uh, reach out and let us know if there's something we can do to help. Thank you, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.